In this video, I'm going to show you how to move objects in Active Directory with PowerShell. Uh, I've got four or five examples. I'm going to move a single user. I'm going to move all users from one OU to another OU. I'm going to use a search filter to filter for specific users and then move them to an OU. And then I'm going to move uh, a list of users from a CSV file um, to an OU. And then uh, I won't demonstrate it, but you can do these exact same examples with uh, computers. So the first example, I will move a single user. And all of these examples use get the get 80 user command uh, to identify the accounts and then it pipes that information over to the move object. So for this example, I'm just going to uh, use my account and then you need the distinguished name of the OU you want to move it to. So this account is in this accounting dash two and I'm going to move it to accounting. So to get the distinguished name of the OU, you can just go to the attribute editor and then grab this distinguished name from here. And then just copy this into this target path. So now when I run this, get 80 users going to identify the account and then pipe that to move the move object command. So the commands run and you can see actually I think I've messed up I forgot to refresh so I actually need to move it so it's it's already in accounting I need to move it to accounting dash two so I'll just come in here and do dash two run this come back refresh you can see it's empty now I refresh this it might take a few seconds for it to update And now there it is. So let's bulk move because I mean, you probably don't need to use PowerShell to move a single account, but that was good uh, introduction to, to explain how the commands work. So now let's do something more realistic and that is moving users from one OU to another OU. So same thing as using the get80 user um, to identify the accounts to move and we're to, to identify, to grab all the users from an OU, we use the search base perimeter. And then again, we're gonna use the uh, distinguished name of the OU. So I'm gonna move all of these, uh, the users in this accounting OU to accounting two. So, uh, we'll grab this distinguished name just put dash two and all of these commands I'll put in the, uh, the, the video notes so you can just copy and paste them um, but yeah we're taking we're grabbing all of the users from accounting OU the get 80 user command piping that to move object and we're setting the target path to the accounting dash two OU. So let me run this, come back. Now you can see this, this directory's only got this one account. If I refresh it, it may take you know five, 10 seconds for it to update. Uh, but once I refresh this a few times, you should see all of those accounts from accounting now be moved to accounting two. And there they are. So I come to accounting, refresh it. Accounting is now empty because they've all been moved to accounting dash two. So very easy to bulk move accounts from one OU to another OU. So this next example, uh, we're going to use again, get 80 user command, but now we're going to use a, uh, a filter, um, to find specific objects based off some attribute in Active Directory, and you can use any attribute. 
Uh, in this example, I'm going to use the department attribute. And you can um, you know, confirm that with the accounts that you're going to move by uh, just running the git ad user command. So uh, I want to find all of the users that are in the marketing department. So if I open up Active Directory, come into marketing organization. So I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to find all of the accounts that have marketing set for the department um, attribute. And you can use any attribute. So if you want to find all users based off a of job title, company, you know, ever, all users that are in a certain state have a certain zip code, uh, just plug in that attribute uh, into this first part right here, and then whatever that value is. So let me run this, and this will just verify. Okay, it's finding a bunch of users. Let me stop this. Um, all of these users that, that it's displaying um, are, are the ones that have marketing set for uh, the department field. So that verifies that it's finding all of the accounts. So now just need to set where you want to move those objects. So all these accounts are in marketing. And I'm going to move them to marketing dash two. I've already got that set. So move object, and then it's just the distinguished name of the target OU. Let me clear that. Click run. And come into Active Directory to refresh this a couple times. And there they are. So come into marketing refresh you'll see all those accounts are gone and they've been moved to marketing too so the last example is moving users from a um, from a CSV file so maybe you've got uh, no common attribute or anything in common with users that you could use the get ad user command to identify accounts to move them so maybe you have to hand pick them and put them in a cs file csv file to move them so this is a little more um, complicated than than the previous examples because we have to loop through a csv file and um, the the move ad object command doesn't take um, the users login name so you have to um, loop through and find their distinguished name and then pass that on to move object so what you'll need to update in this is well first you'll need to get the users accounts that you want to uh, move and I'm, I'm gonna quickly just grab them with um, my 80 pro toolkit uh, and when you, once you got your CSV created, just update this path to the, the name and location of the CSV, and then update the target OU to the distinguished name, uh, the location where you're going to move these accounts. I moved them all into this accounting OU, and that should be everything you need to change unless you've uh, named the column in the CSV something other than SAM account. You'll need to update this right here. Um, then just hit run. One more headers were not specified. So what this means is I've probably got an empty column in the uh, CSV, which is for this is, is no big deal. I just ignored it. Um, but let's go to Active Directory. If I refresh accounting. So it took all of the accounts from the CSV and moved them into uh, this accounting. So you, you can literally just copy and paste this. Again, all you need to do is create a CSV file, um, give it a column name, and then just list the logon names of all of the accounts that you want to move. And make sure the path is correct here. 
and make sure this matches what's in the CSV and that should move um, your counts. Um, I would test it first on a few. I mean, if you're wanting to bulk move hundreds of um, accounts with this script, uh, first test it on, you know, a handful, five, two, three, four, um, before doing a massive move, just to make sure it's moving the accounts correctly. You don't want to uh, have this move them to some place you didn't want or for some reason it's not working right so uh, please test this on a select few accounts before doing a mass move so that's it again i will uh, copy all of this into the notes and you can literally just copy and paste these into your powershell um, and if you want to move computers, just replace get ad user with get ad computer and identify the, if you're going to do a single computer, I mean, this will obviously be the, the name of the computer, um, but you can do get ad computer and it will work with moving computers from one OU to another OU. You can also use the filter and search for specific computer attributes and you can also uh, use this script here to move them from a CSV file um, to another location in Active Directory. And that is it. If you enjoyed this video, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.